Okay, um, so this this video is going to be about aggregate demand, and so remember we're, we're looking at our aggregate demand, aggregate supply model as our main model in this section, and we want to start with uh, something called aggregate demand. Okay, so what is aggregate demand? Well, let's go ahead and draw it. So we have our new model. Our new model is going to be. Uh, I'll do another video about the difference between this and supply and demand, but. On one side, we have our price level. You can think of that as the GDP, GDP deflator. And on the other side, we have real GDP. So this is a macro model. It's showing the entire economy. So the price level of the economy and the uh, output or, or whatever um, our economy is producing. So uh, our aggregate demand is going to be downward sloping. And so what that means is when we go to... Um, a lower price level, then the uh, buyers are willing to buy more stuff. Okay, so what? Well, who who are these buyers? That's the first part to start with. So who are these buyers? So our good demand can be broken down like this. So we have our real GDP, and this is C plus I plus G plus uh, net exports, which remember is X minus M. Just to remind you that it's net exports, okay? And so, and this is our aggregate demand. So how much this is how much stuff they want to buy, and we're looking at how much stuff they want to buy at each price level. So how does this curve is showing the relationship between the price level and the amount of stuff they want to buy? Now, in the long run, we wouldn't expect uh, the price level to have an effect, but we will in the short run. Now, we're gonna for now we're gonna assume. This is gov based on government policy, though, so the government um, determines G. Okay, so we're just going to be looking at the other parts, and we're going to look at these other parts and see um, how they, why uh, these things will increase when the price level is lower. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, it's obvious it's going to increase when the price level is lower, but it actually isn't obvious. Um, so let's make sure that we go through this carefully. And, and try to understand what's going on here. Okay, so when again, we're not talking about the price of an individual good. We're talking about the overall price level in the whole economy. And so let's start with the first reason. Okay, so the first reason is called the wealth effect. And this is the relationship between the price level and consumption. Okay, so here's the idea. Um, I'm just going to go in one direction. So I'm going to go with the price level going down. So that'd be like from A to B in our in our diagram. And then you can go ahead and think about the other side. Okay, so if our price level is to fall, so the average price in the economy falls, well then what happens? Well, people have, the money people hold, uh, the cash, for example, people hold, has now more purchasing power. So the cash uh, or, or nominal money people hold, so you got money in the bank, you got money in the in, in your at home, and now it has uh, more purchasing power. So what do you do? Well, now, you, before you could only buy a certain amount of stuff. Now you can buy a lot more stuff. So you feel wealthy and you go out and shop. They feel richer and this is gonna increase consumption. Remember, C stands for consumption. Okay, so that's the wealth effect. So that's one reason why we'd expect more is well, people are going to um, feel wealthier because their money goes farther and they're going to shop more. And this is probably what most of you are thinking uh, when we when I mention this. Okay. The second reason is the is called the interest rate effect. This is again this is the price level and investment. And remember investment is physical capital investment. Okay. So we get a decrease in the price level. And so people, regular people, um, we they they're gonna this is not about the the firms yet, but uh, the the households don't need as much money to buy the same stuff, so they don't need as much money to buy goods and services, the same ones. So what do they do? So instead, they're going to save money. Okay, and so since these households don't need as much money to buy the same goods and services, they're going to uh, as we yeah. So they're going to save, as I said, they're going to save money. So they're going to put money into the financial system, the excess funds, let's call it, into the financial system. And they also borrow less. They're also going to borrow less because they don't need to borrow to buy stuff as much because uh, the price oil has fallen and their purchase power has risen. And so then 
this is going to cause the uh, interest rate to fall and now investment is more attractive for firms uh, financial and then we're talking about um, physical investment buying so typically like big factories or large equipment purchases will be done uh, using credit and so the, the credit will be cheaper right so this is going to also buying new houses so this is going to increase uh, all kinds of in physical investment uh, building new facilities buying new equipment build, uh, buying new houses and it's just because it's now cheaper to borrow okay cheaper to borrow so we kind of have so far we have these two things going on uh, one thing is um, the households their cash and their nominal money they have uh, has more purchasing power they feel richer they buy more stuff and and but they also save more money than they were before right if this happened this is theoretical so um, whenever we're drawing these curves we need to think well what would happen in every given situation so we can draw that curve now in your, you could reverse all these to the other side and think about what if the price level goes up and everything will just be backwards from this in fact that's what they do in the, in the textbook so you might want to go ahead and look at that as well okay on to the third effect third effect is called the foreign price effect and so basically it's um, the, the price level falls in the US, right? And let's say it has um, no effect in other countries. The other countries just stay the same, ceteris paribus, but uh, stays the same or doesn't change in other countries, okay? So now think about it for a second. Well, your prices went down in your country and the other countries didn't change, and so um, if you kept everything constant, right, if you kept everything constant just briefly, then we would find that, well, the, now the imports are going to look relatively expensive, and the exports to those other countries, your prices are going to look cheap, So your, and your exports look cheap. So this should cause people to buy uh, less export, sorry, less imports. They're going to buy less imports because imports don't look like a good deal anymore and you're also going to export more right so this is going to cause your net exports to go up and that as soon as your exports are rising imports are falling remember it's like this right so this one is going up and this one is going down right so it's getting big so the net exports are rising so we've got this third thing going on as well so now let's go ahead and just put these together so uh, when we put them together we say well what happens if our price level falls, and again, we're talking price level, not the price of a specific good, but overall price level, well, then we can put these together. So we're going to have these three effects. So the first effect is our wealth effect. Yep. So that's that's consumption well, is going to go up. And then we also have our interest rate effect. So we're going to get more investment. And then uh, finally, we're going to have our foreign price effect, and that's affecting net exports. Um, now, it may be that these uh, effects are relatively small, um, so I drew it kind of big here just to, just to make it obvious, but it may be they're relatively small. Um, as long as there's some effect, the aggregate demand will still have this downward sloping uh, relationship where it increases when the price level falls and it decreases when the price level rises.